So the question was Dunnington, six cores, right? You know, it seems like the most natural would have been to double it, right, to eight cores. So why is it a six core? Well, you know, we, when we were defining Dunnington, uh, you know, there's sort of a cost envelope, right, that we sit inside of as we look at these products. So for an EX part, here's sort of where we're trying to build a cost envelope for it. And then we said we could do it, we could do it a couple of ways. We could go build a four core part with a really big cache. Right? We could build an eight core part and have smaller caches. And we basically ran a set, right, a detailed set of workload characterizations and, right, and trying to cover a range of performance requirements inside of a certain cost envelope. Six core with 16 meg of cache ended up being the sweet spot. Obviously, more cores would work better on some workloads. Bigger caches and less cores would work better on other workloads. So, you know, it's not like, you know, there's a clean answer for any, right, you know, for an individual market segment. But uh, six cores, I said, you're going to find that it gives very good performance improvements. Uh, you know, all of the major, uh, in this segment of the marketplace, everything is already, you know, thread enabled, right, with multi-thread, because you're talking about transaction machines, virtualization machines, and so on. And uh, so, you know, the net of that was, you know, six core big cash part was the right solution. And I think customers will find, uh, you know, that to be, a, you know, give a very good performance result for most of their workloads. So uh, the nine core product, are we doing that, or the <laughs> 11 core? Or, um, you know, it's, uh, every one of these ends up being a design optimization question, right? As you're trying to look at the set, and, you know, what's engineering? Engineering is optimizing, right, inside of a set of constrained resources. And uh, six core, like Dunnington, for the EX marketplace socket compatible platform, you know, was a big win, right? We've said, we said that there's a Nehalem EX, a version of Nehalem specifically coming for that uh, EX market, that expandable, scalable marketplace, which is a different design, mm -hmm. right? Again, aimed at that high-end uh, segment of the MP, scalable architecture, larger die sizes, more on-chip resources, more memory channels, and so on. So, you know, that's a design point that we continue right uh, forward uh, for multiple generations, and you'll see us continue that uh, forward. But it's not interim. Uh, I, I, I'm, not just, I'm trying to say it's not, it's not like, oops, you know, we sort of forgot, let's throw something in the middle. This is a sustained design point, right, that we've done over time. I mean, if you go back, I don't know, what's our first version of a server part, Steve? It's probably, you know, of the MP part. Well, I'm at, uh, well P6. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's been a, you know, we, we put those MP products up there, Typically, higher resources, bigger caches, more memory support, more RAS support, right? That's the characteristic of what we call the expandable, scalable market.